Hey everybody, this is Brian from GMB Homestead. I want to do the update for the midsize or a solid bar LED area. Let me grab the camera and I'll show you what's going on. We've got some pretty good regrowth on the uh, the chards. So you can see they're ready for another harvest. And uh, I think what's going to happen is these two trays are going to go outside next weekend. Because as you'll notice, the tomato plant that used to be in here is gone and I showed the update on that plant in the uh, large grow tent because I'm transitioning it in there to let it grow and then we'll plant it outside once the weather's correct. The temperature for that to go and survive outdoors will probably, you know, end of May, um, Labor Day. Depends on if we're going to have an early warm spring or early warm summer-ish type at the end of spring or you know how it's going to end up being but like last year it was a little bit colder so I didn't plant until I think the end of May all of my tomato plants. I did have them outside inside those kind of makeshift greenhouse tents that I had built out of plastic, but this year I think I'm just going to go and haul them outside, get them acclimated during the day, pull them back in here, stick them in the storage area where it's a little cooler, and do it that way this year instead of having the hassle of setting up those plastic tents. But you can see they do need another harvest, so this week we'll be harvesting off pretty much all of the, the large leaves, and then we'll be sticking this outside inside the red garden boxes on the lower deck so that'll be their new permanent home and we'll see if they can survive and this year I'm going to cover those beds with some plastic when we get into fall so hopefully we'll keep the, uh, the growth going a little bit longer on there and then uh, probably leave them covered with some kind of a cloach cloth, cloth or something like that to where it'll let the moisture through but we'll try to retain some of the heat and keep the ice and stuff off of them so we'll see uh, how much of it comes back the next spring all right, this is Brian from P&B Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. All right, bye.